My first question would be, what's、mm. the past couple of months been like for you and your team? Well, James, this is、uh, one of the toughest、uh, public health event I've、uh, responding in its、uh, magnitude and speed. I think it's swiftly and dramatically changing the people's lives, and it's very obvious that health is so closely linked with our life. But health is also so central. To the、uh, socio-economic and function of the society, and obviously we're worried, observing the way that virus is spreading around the world, and then I'm concerned about the potential that it would overwhelm the health system of the countries with the、uh, limited capacity. I would like to ask you a question on behalf of many people around the world who may not feel properly supported. By the leadership in their cities, in their villages, in their countries, even very simply, how can they best protect themselves and just the people in their own home? I fully understand、uh, people's, you know, they worry. They worry because this is a new diseases. But what is important is individual effort can protect yourself, but not just yourself, but protect、uh, your family, your friends, and then. Your colleague, your community. What we need is a some kind of a, a solidarity at the community level. Of course, the basis is family, and then the community. But then we also need a second layer of the solidarity, that is a you know helping the community, helping government, and government not just the health sector but whole government. And then the third layer is that、uh, now the virus is spreading around the world. And at the end, it's infectious diseases. There's no boundary, so every country needs to do their best. That would contribute to the international solidarity, and the basis is a individual effort, such as washing hand regularly, well, or covering your mouth in case you're coughing, or keeping distance to the people who is coughing, or in case if you have symptoms. Stay home, and then to contact your local authority. Hear very clearly your message for the people who are feeling peer pressure right now. Your message would be that this is not something that has been blown out of proportion. This is not a hoax. This is a matter of being infected or not, and potentially dying and living. There are many people around the world involved in responding. But it's unlikely this virus will disappear next week or even next month. Make sure you have access to the right informations and know how to protect yourself. Thank you very much. And a quick reminder to everybody: you can follow the Western Pacific region, which is at WHO WPRO, and we're going to bring this up on screen now. Dr. Takeshi Kasai's own Twitter is at Takeshi underscore Kasai. The China Current continues its special coverage on the coronavirus outbreak. Go to our social media at the China Current and our website for interviews, videos, and podcasts. I'm James Chow. Thank you.